What's up, everybody? Welcome to the video. So, I've been dealing with some a couple issues. Something that I think will be interesting for you guys to, talk, to hear about. Software development and bugs and issues and configuration problems and so forth. This is common, par for the course when it comes to running any business. So, I'll give you a couple of cases, a uh, couple of examples. Case in point, there we go. That was the expression I was looking for. So case in point number one. So I updated the forum software, which we didn't create. It's a commercial forum software, which I paid for. And I had it updated in about a year or so. And it was pretty static. The forum I just keep for legacy purposes because of social media. Some people want to be on Facebook. Some people want to be Instagram. Some people want to be on YouTube. Some people want to be on Twitter to have a private forum. It has some use, but not major for what I do now. So I just had it updated in years, and it was pretty stable, no problems. I updated it because of a new mentoring group, and all of a sudden, bing, bang, boom, Bob's your uncle. I'm getting spams now. I'm getting spam emails. Now I'm on a managed, fully managed VPS, virtual private server, to save me headaches. They see a flood of spam emails, so they shut it down, boom. So the forum's offline until such time we can figure it out. So I go into the forum software, the brand new forum software. Of course, it's convoluted, badly written in terms of usability purposes. And next thing you know, bing, bang, boom, I can't do anything. I try to shut off all emails, it doesn't work. The old one did, new one doesn't. So I'm now dealing with their tech support to see what happens. It's a classic situation, you know, that's why I was always, I'm always reticent because I'm an old crusty nerd with 169 years of experience. I know that you shouldn't rush to use new technology because a lot of times with new technology, you're going to have bugs, new bugs, new problems to have to deal with for some time, especially these days. There's a lot of marginal, at best, advantage to upgrading to a new piece of software. That's why, you know, the feeling that you have to do the greatest and the latest and the newest and always the best, you know, th th those days are over because the, this, the, um, the level of maturity in the software development market is it's very mature now. It's not what it was in the 90s or the early 2000s even. Ever since, I would say, especially in the web stack, ever since about 2012 or so, it's been pretty bloody stable in terms of what's going on. You know, very stable. There's no huge advantages to be had from moving from one stack to another in most situations. They're all pretty even. The level of advancement, like Python, really hasn't changed much in five, six years. Really hasn't changed much. Uh, PHP, there's been some changes the last few years. PHP 7 from 5 to 5.6 to 7. So that was a major change in terms of uh, behind the scenes, in terms of speed. But in terms of writing the code and how you write the code, it's pretty static for the most part. Yeah, there's some here things here and there, but things are pretty static. Same thing with Python and JavaScript, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, databases, et cetera. So words of wisdom from an experienced nerd, be very cautious about your upgrade path, especially if you have an active business or an active application because you upgrade for some potential advantage, you may break a whole bunch of things that are already working. And the last point, how about the rewrite? I just rewrote Studio Web uh, 4, which was the old code base from, excuse me, from 1, 2, and 3, it was the old code base going back to 2011. With Studio Web 4 and 5, really, it's a brand new code base. And uh, I was very reticent to abandon the old code base because you always, you always, always, always exchange old bugs for new. And that was always the case. It's just the nature of programming. No matter what controls you put in place, what frameworks you use, you're always going to have bugs. That's why there's version 10 of Windows and 12 or 13 of iOS, etc., etc. There are always bugs. If you think that you're going to write bug-free software because you're going to go to this new great language or platform, you're just a noob. You're fooling yourself. There's always bugs. One set of bugs in exchange for new. You only update when... Uh, you've hit a brick wall in terms of your upgrade path or, or, or performance issues, etc. That's the only time when you abandon an old code base, uh, especially these days, because things are much more mature overall. Things are pretty bloody good.